Hi everyone and welcome to Hearts Warren 4, Together for Victory. So this is just a quick intro that I'm recording to let you know what you are actually about to watch. So this is basically a Twitch livestream that happened in Stockholm at Paradox Fun Gathering 2016, where I was involved in a multiplayer game organized by Paradox, where we played the newest Hearts Warren 4 expansion, Together for Victory. I was playing as British Raj. So since this is in fact live stream footage, it's going to be slightly different dynamic than videos recorded specifically for YouTube and audio is a little bit off because obviously I wasn't playing on my own setup, I didn't really have a chance to correct any technical issues with audio or do a sound check before it started, but it should be fine. I did the best I could to make it as good as it possibly can be. This is the first time any of us had a chance to play together for victory, so at the start of this game we aren't quite familiar with the new features yet, but as it progresses it shows quite a few neat new features from together for victory. So I hope you'll enjoy it. The game ends in September 1941, because that's when the event ended and that's when the game ended. You can watch a VOD of the Paradox mainstream of the event and not just my point of view. I will include a link somewhere in the description below. So that's it as far as this intro goes. Enjoy! Hi everyone on chat. Let me know if volume is fine because I didn't get a chance to do a sound check. So let me know if it's too loud, too quiet or anything in between. Anyway, this is Hearts of Iron 4 expansion, together for victory. I'm actually streaming from Stockholm right now, so it won't be your typical stream. And I'm playing as the British Raj, so if any of you have, you know, any tips, feel free. Alright, anyway, let's check all these armies. We got speed free going on from the looks of it. Okay. Recruitment. We are currently recruiting. Let's check logistics. So there are a few new features in the expansion. This is literally the first time I get a chance to play this. So I'm just going to go through the menus really quickly. See what's going on here. We got 51 political power. Diplomacy. Let's check some map modes. Resource, the standard diplomacy. Factions. Alright. Oh, apparently Steam switched me to online, which is not so good. Hold on, I'm not sure if I can turn that off. I don't think I can. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Yep, I can't alt-stab out of this, so I'll be in permanent online mode on Steam apparently. Which is kind of bad. Alright. Well, I can fix that without quitting the game, unfortunately. Alright, let's check research. Let's see if there's anything new in here. Yep. So we did start in 1938. 0.50 years ahead of time. Yeah, I do think we should get better infantry equipment ASAP. That will do. I have national focus. Okay, let's see what the options here are. And what we actually started with. Just a quick look. Can we get any factories? Or what can we get? Okay. Add 100 watt. 
I think that's a new mechanic in the expansion because I don't remember seeing this before. Pretty sure that's it. Okay, what else do we have here? Yeah, we are running on speed free, so I kind of need to decide quickly. Daily autonomy progress gain, minus 0 0.4. Add 49.98. Something that I don't know what it is. National unity plus 8%. Recruitable population factor, 10%. Alright, let's go in this direction. Is the volume fine? I am reading chat on the second monitor, but there will obviously be a delay. I hope it's fine. But if it's not, I can change volume, so let me know. I don't have my usual overlays because, you know, I'm not streaming from home, obviously. <laughs> and I didn't bring them with me. Right, well, I don't have any specific plan. It would be nice to see the new features, you know. One of the major new features is how puppets are handled. But... So let's check diplomacy. Let's check us. Eighty-six political power. So we are a colony, obviously. But what can we do about that? Improve relations. Oh yeah, you can request a land lease. That is a new thing. In together for victory. Let's see. There's also technology sharing. I remember that part. I'll try to find that. So we can request things. If we have enough they will accept, okay? How does that work? Select equipment to receive monthly. Alright. Let's check our shortages then. We got minus 2.4k towed artillery. I suppose we could request some artillery in that case. Let's see how that's going to work. Okay, artillery. And we can request that. So what can we do with diplomacy in here? Not much else, I don't think so. Alright then. Uh, Paradox is running a stream on their main channel. So if you want to check like the main event stream, you can go there. Okay. Research. I don't think there's anything new in here that I can see. Yes, low manpower. 62,000. Can we do something with manpower through national focus? Let's take a look around. One military factory. Yes, that would be nice. Maybe we should go this way for factories and infrastructure. Probably. And house recruitment. That's our division. Okay, engineer company, support artillery, recon. 20 combat with. Looks reasonable. But we need 9100 manpower for one division. And almost 100 artillery. What's our current production speed? Yeah, 3.19 per day. Not amazing. We got 17 military factories. Could have been worse. And construction queue. 
Let's queue up a few more. Just so that it's enough for a while. Okay. These are all old. Sixteen percent world attention. What are we going to do with political power once we get enough? Let's have a look. Political power gain plus five percent. Ideology drift defense plus fifteen percent. All right. Political power gain plus fifteen percent. We should probably grab that once we get one hundred fifty. That is seems reasonable. By the way. I'm not sure how long this stream is going to be, because it started delayed. So we'll see. It's supposed to be a few hours. Right, research. Let's check industry. What did we start with? Resource gain efficiency. Concentrated industry. Versus advanced machine tools. Yeah, we should raise production efficiency cap first. I don't have any real plan for this, by the way. I would just like to see new stuff. <laughs> That's the plan. See new things. I guess we mostly wait right now. Because there's not much else we can do. France and Britain announce alliance. Alright, so there's the national focus. And we can follow with... what was it? Donation theory. Yeah, for increased recruitable population, because we are going to need that. Just judging from our manpower, which is crap. What about the national spirit? Yeah, we need to get rid of this. I'm not sure how. There's going to be some... And this. There's probably going to be some kind of national focus to get rid of that. No idea where. I'll have to find it. Above national spirit, risk of famine. Okay, so that's one that we found. Oh. Okay. What else? I'm just trying to read through this as quickly as possible, but it's not that easy to do it fast. Okay. 
gains national spirit quick India movement, which grants daily autonomy progress gain plus 0.4. Okay then. Seek help from Soviets, from Germany, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm not sure if we even can remove these negative modifiers. I assume we can, but I have no idea where. This one specifically. Minus 69% recruitable population factor. That kind of kills the manpower. here because th these are naval techs or focuses I don't think we can remove them through actual focuses or at least if it's possible I can't find it just the one that I saw earlier but that's not the one I'm looking for okay research is done Let's see. I think we should focus on industry for now. So we'll grab concentrated industry free. Next. So what about the research slots? Can we get those? Oh, also, this is new. Continuous focuses. Not sure how that works just yet. I guess we just research them just like anything else. Okay, so what are these? Carrier, capital ship production cost minus 20%, submarine, screen, trade, convoy. Okay, so naval production, air production, construction engineering, army training, resistance suppression, resistance growth minus 2, that one is nice. Factory repair speed, free repair. Technology sharing, yes. We should probably give that a shot. Because tech sharing is a new thing. Rip China. Press F to pay respects. part of technology sharing group all right well that doesn't tell me much but okay so let's get more national uh, political power I mean plus 15% political power gain yep seems reasonable to me uh, smiling Buddha focus let me check which part was that in? Not seeing it. are these plus 50 percent research bonus for land doctrine grants national spirit indian gentlemen officers military leader cost minus 50 percent starting level of new army leaders plus one that one is kind of nice actually but we need to be more autonomous than colony see i'm not sure how to increase your autonomy, other than for some of these focuses. There were a few that increased autonomy. So I guess that's the main way to do that. I know you can gain your independence by either going against your controller or working with him. So we can stick 
and support Great Britain and earn your independence eventually like that. Don't ask me how, but they told us beforehand that it's one of the ways that you can play. Quit India movement. Yeah, daily autonomy progress gain plus 0 0.4. The movement supporters are expected to demand change. All right. So what the heck is 100 whatever? I have no idea what this is. In fact, we should go for that just to check it out. The previous focus is almost done. One more day. Okay, there it is. Okay. By the way, I'm not used to playing this quickly. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest. Oh, we can't. Hold on. Cannot have this. Oh. Yeah. We already started the game with Indian National Congress because we started in 1938. So going this way is not actually possible with this start because we kind of got forced to go for the alternative. All right. Fine by me. Recruitable population. Yeah, we're going to need that. But how about... Increase autonomy. Okay, so that's another way to do it. Through increase autonomy focus. But how the heck do we get into a technology sharing group? No idea. Okay. How about some of the other focuses? Construction engineering. I don't think that's as important for us right now. So yeah, this is weird. All right. So you actually have to maintain this continuously. It's not like 70 days and you're done. You have to activate it like so. And then you can cancel it if you want to. That's how it works from the looks of it. Okay. Interesting. So this is at the expense of not working on any other focus. So press subject. Minus 0 0.5 master impact. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we should be doing this just yet. How about we cancel that and do something more useful? Like infrastructure or military factory. Yeah, infrastructure first. Okay, so, oh yeah, hold on, colony. Oh, so that's what it is. That's how we change. We need 589 autonomy points. I don't know what they are called officially in game, so that's what I'll roll with. And then we can change our autonomy level. Cannot declare wars, can decline call to war. Plus 25% extra trade to overlord. Plus 25% trade bonus. Okay. Manage occupied territories. Yeah, we can release Pakistan, which we are not going to do. I still want to get rid of agrarian society and other negatives. But I guess not, at least not right now. Twenty two percent war tension. It will start pretty soon. Let's check military production real quick. How are we doing here? Let's have a look at logistics. We still need a lot more artillery, but apparently we have enough infantry equipment. All right. We can deprioritize that a bit then. And prioritize support equipment more. Yeah, we need over 1,000 support equipment, unfortunately. Thank you. 
Yeah, we should be training. Let me check. We do not currently have enough equipment. I mean, I can either prioritize my existing army or prioritize training new ones. But seeing how it's almost done, we have 84%. We can prioritize training for now. All right, research. Okay, first thing we should do is switch the production line. Yep. And add all factories there. This should do. And next, how about we work on some artillery? Yeah. Let's do that. Commonwealth research. Reduce research time for technologies researched by other Commonwealth countries. Okay, how does that work? Each member with a tech reduces time by 5%. Effective technology sharing modified to 50% due to us being a colony. Alright. But that means we are part of a tech sharing group. So... Why did this say that we are not? That's weird. Maybe we need to not be a colony. No, I'm not going to play Ziv tonight because I'm in Sweden. So, nope. So we'll try to work on autonomy once we finish the focus. I'd like to see how that works. And I guess we should maybe move our army. How's the training going? And we should probably train them. Are they green? Yep, they are green. That's not so good. Unfortunately, it will cost infantry equipment to train, which... I'm not sure it's what I want. But green troops get a minus 25% modifier in combat, which is kind of really bad. Some of them are 87% towards regular, so I guess we should train them. The condition is that... Oh. Oh, okay. I think you're right. Oh yeah, you have to not be right. Yeah, you're right. It's just a confusing way to say things. <laughs> right, modify government. What should we do? Let's see, can we do anything that will give us autonomy? There was something. Or maybe not. Improve relations, opinion. National unity plus 15%. I mean, we could just go for... What? Maybe we should start recruiting military dudes. You know, infantry, division attack and defense. Because I don't want to get wrecked. Too quickly. Alright. We can start working on that. So, I have a feeling we'll get rolled over by Japan. But we'll see. There's the other war. In Europe. Well, there's Italy taking Yugoslavia. Which is not unexpected, let's just say. And artillery. Alright, should we keep working on artillery? I think we should, yes. How's that national focus? Almost done. Alright, we'll pick up something that will give us autonomy points. 